Hello and welcome. Take a moment, give this question a shot, and press play when you're ready to work on it with me. Okay, so let's read the question, and I want this is a good question to draw, I think, a picture as you go. A contractor has 48 meters of fencing that is going to use as the perimeter of a rectangular garden. So we know that P has to equal 48. Okay, and the length of one side of the garden is represented by X. Okay, so I'm going to draw a garden. Probably should use green, but this is okay, I guess. So one side is X. That's what we know. And the area is 108 square meters. Okay. Determine algebraically the dimensions of the garden in meters. So we, if we have one side is X and the other side is X, I can call the other side whatever I want. Uh, I'll call it Y. So we know that the perimeter is 48. So 2X plus 2y is the perimeter, and that equals 48. And we know the area is 108, and they want us to they want us to figure this out. So we've got to get rid of one of these variables, or at least rewrite this thing, so it's more manageable, right? So I'm going to isolate y is typically what uh, that's typically how we're seeing these things here. So 2y equals 48 minus 2x, and divide both sides by 2, and y equals 4 y equals 24. Right? Yes. 24 minus x. Okay, so then the area is 108. So x times y, which is 24 minus x, that equals 108. Okay, so let's distribute the x here and see if we can do anything. We have 24x minus x squared equals 108. So if I add the x squared over and subtract the 24x, I'll get 0 on this side. And I'll have x squared minus 24x plus 108. So we're trying to find x here, and what I might do in this case is then factor this thing out to find x. But for me, I, I think there is there are factors of one, positive 108 that add the negative 24, not that difficult to find. But I actually find that the quadratic formula is simpler here. The quadratic formula will find those factors, and the quadratic formula is given to you on the exam. It says that negative b. So x equals negative b, and it looks scary, but it works nicely, uh, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a equals x, right? So a is the coefficient of x squared, so a is 1 here. b is the coefficient of x, negative 24, don't lose that negative sign, and c is the constant 108. So then, I know this looks gross, but it works nicely, again, hang in there, negative b, so, neg so positive 24 because b is already negative, plus or minus b squared, so that's 24 times 24, so clear this off, 24 squared, that's 576, square root of 576 minus 4ac, so 4 times 1 times 108 is 432, all over 2 times 1 or 2. Okay, keep going. So x equals 24 plus or minus what is 576 minus 432? Yay, it's a perfect square. It's 144. So plus or minus the square root of 144 over 2. And that just equals 24 plus or minus 12, the square root of 144 uh, over 2. And that equals 12 plus or minus 6, because we divide both terms by 2. So in the first case, x is 12 plus 6. In the second case, x is 12 minus 6. So x is 18, or x is 6. So let's go back. So what are the um, dimensions of the garden in meters? Well, if x is, so there are two values we got for x. x could be 18 or 6. So we're actually done at this point. I'm just going to check it. I think that's really valuable. Especially in a question like this, you might get lost in your calculations. So we said x could be 6 or 18, right? So that, again, this is beyond, that's the answer. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> 6 or 18. But let's just clarify this actually works. So the key equation I'm going to be using here are that y equals 24 minus x to solve this. And so if x is 6, We'll draw two rectangles, I guess. So the first one we'll use here. X is 6. Y is 24 minus X. So 24 minus 6. 
So that means y is 18, right? And if you calculate 6 times 18, you do get 108. And if you find the perimeter, 6 plus 6 plus 18 plus 18, that's 48. It works. So now let's plug in the other value for x just to confirm. If x is 18, y is still 24 minus x, so it's 24 minus 18, and y is 6. So you see it's the same rectangle but turned, basically. One's 18 by 6, the other is 16 by, is 18 by 6, the other is 6 by 18. And again, the area multiplies to 108 and adds to 48. So it's the same rectangle turned, and I'll draw it to scale, more to scale over here, sorry. So one of them was 6 by 18, and the other is simply um, 18 by 6. So that makes sense, right? That uh, it might get two different values for x, but essentially it's still the same rectangle turned. Alright, I hope this helped.